Welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy, and we're trying a new thing here. Resellers and cars with coffee. And I have here, I have hey, here. Don, auction professor. You know him as the auction professor, of course you do. And I was nice enough to meet up with him today over at the uh, flea market. And uh, why don't you tell us where we were? Uh, a very, very wet and rainy Springfield antique market in Springfield, Ohio. Um, we've believe, obviously met here before too. So, great place. Uh, I spent $600 almost. How much you spend, Dave? I spent about $150. Usually, I think uh, I've spent uh, less than you usually. You're slacking off, but it was really bad weather today. Yep. And that's where uh, my hat's off. I literally had a hat on earlier, so my hat is literally off today. Uh, to Don, he picked out some really, really interesting and nice stuff, which I'm sure he'll show you a little bit of in a video of his at some point. Um, no pressure, of course. Uh, but I deal 99.9% .9 in paper. You deal probably 75%, 70%, yeah, 50%, some, some percentage of paper, less than 50%. And he was able to find a lot of non-paper items. And in a day like today, I think that that's key. That the weather, the weather with that, that book I showed you, I'm not going to call it what it is, but you saw how old yep. the book was. The weather made for a great day for purchasing because everybody was afraid they weren't going to make the bankroll to pay for the booth today. So luckily I got about $100 off on a very rare couple of books and some other things in here. Some really stuff I just never run into. Have you seen something that old, that old before mm -hmm. in, in your hand like that or no? Not very often. One, one time, uh, which which you'll have to watch all of our old videos to find out which one it was in, uh, I picked up a 1600 book for a dollar in the flea market. But we're also a little further east, so we do have some of our older stuff as well. Um, yep, so we're over in Ohio. But yeah, it was uh, one of the worst, probably second worst day of thrifting, and I don't necessarily mean that as far as what I bought, but as far as the weather conditions. Um, it was almost like a monsoon, and then there are three or four buildings uh, on the premises, and as soon as it started raining, those things got filled up. And I understand why people do it, uh, but but auction professor was sharing with me as well. What is your opinion, auction professor, on people with the wagons and the carts? <laughs> I hate them. I hate them. I'll, I'll take a backpack, but I'll never bring a cart because they jam up uh, in the people. I don't know how many I saw that were covered with water. I didn't have them, but you know, I'd rather take a, I've got a leather backpack I usually take, but it's, it's waterproof. And that's the key. I think mean, I'd never bring a car. It's just too much of a nuisance. There were spots where the mud was, you know, that deep. Now, I'm not exaggerating. It was two or three inches of mud. I would hate to take a car. No, right. And it was, um, and then, of course, as soon as it started raining, everybody skedaddled for the buildings with the carts. And if you have somebody going east and somebody going west, they're not wide enough for two cars to get through. There were a lot of short tempers today as far as that went. Uh, no doubt at all, you were going to get jostled, you were going to get bumped because everybody was in there trying to avoid the uh, the weather. But that being said, I know tomorrow will be a great day for thrifting. And one of the main reasons you actually told me uh, before, yep, they need to make money. So they had a poor day today. Their booth cost them whatever, $500, $1,000, whatever they have in the size of their booth, the tent. They drove up here, they have the overnight, they have this, they have that, and they did $100 today if they even opened up. Yeah, some of them didn't even open at all. There was a lot, you could see the vehicles sitting there, nobody around. And this was a 12, 3, 1 o'clock. Yeah. They were already there since 7, probably, ready to go. And, and we were we walked in a little after 8, and uh, Mrs. Paper Boy and I saw somebody packing up. Oh, yeah, there was people packing up. That's what I said. The, the best deal I got today was I didn't go in the building when it was raining. I hit the, a couple of people that had tent covers over. That's how I got the deal because he was leaving. He, he had it. He said he, he wasn't even up to his van out here. Yes. It was so deep. I got stuck coming out. I ripped up the lawn. But no, not outside. Not yet, no. But that's the only reason I got the best deal I've had in a very long time. Well, and you were going to say, uh, you were going to tell us uh, about a bit of a problem that you had when you were standing outside underneath the tent. Something to watch out for. Yeah, if, if you ever go to one of these, they everybody has the big covers on them, and somebody knocked it off, and my other hat got totally drenched on me because uh, he didn't say anything before he just knocked the top of it off, and I got drenched. But, you know, it was worth it because that's actually where I got those, those 
Well, and that's another thing too. A lot of people did have tents up, but they were not waterproof tents. Not at all. Water was literally coming down through, and I'm trying to look at books, and water is like coming down, and you're afraid to turn one way or the other. But you've got this book in your hand. And not only that, it's rolling in from the drive into there, so there was places where the water was that high, and there was mud on top. It was slick everywhere. That was that was the worst time I think you know walking around yeah. in the rain I've had in a flea market. So, I mean, it was well worth it. Um, oh, yeah. Definitely. Well worth it for Don because he got to meet me. And well worth it for me because I bought a couple of uh, good things as well. Um, what do you, uh, it's been a while since we've talked. What's uh, anything else exciting going on with your channels or anything? Or? Um, and for those who don't know, we did buy property. Um, this is our second year owning it, and we've got an eBay building. As of now, the biggest thing going on with us is the second the eBay building is done, it's back to full steam eBay, Amazon, and videos. Um, right now, I've, I've got an office done. I've got the second floor up where we've doubled. I'll have a uh, almost 4,000 square foot building when we're done, space-wise. You know, that's the biggest thing going on with us now, and I just can't wait to do it. I, I work like 80 hours a week just to get that done, because once it's done, I got nothing else to worry about. So, you know, it's, it's nice to have something. I know. I'm not gonna call it your wife, but I mean, this is paperwork. We we talked for a few minutes there while you were you were stuff aside. My wife feels the same way about having eBay stuff all over the place, and, and for me, it's it's just been a, a god save. I mean, I I can't believe that we finally got something that, that alleviates the problem between having my kitchen full with every imaginable thing. We live in a small house, so, so for me, that's been the biggest the biggest thing I can say. We met, we can shut down. Once that's done, though, and I hope to have it done in like maybe five months or so, everything it's back to full steam videos. And nice. The whole work, so. Nice. So make sure you do check this channel out. I'll drop a link in down below for you to. That's what all us good YouTubers do. That way, they look down below. I do that. I do that in my videos. It's got to give you a couple of tips just in case you were wondering. Um, but I, we really do thank you for uh, for coming by, spending a couple of minutes with us over here. Um, well, it's more than a couple of minutes. Wow, we gotta go milk for eight minutes to the roll. I'm new with this game, Dad. I'm not new. Um, are you gonna be coming over to Whatnot anytime soon? No, we, we, I think most people, if they watch my channel, know why I don't do Whatnot. But I have done Whatnot, and I do get asked that question probably more now than when I was actually doing Whatnot. But um, I've only done a few Whatnots, and I'm not really interested in anytime soon. Uh, we're we're going to keep trying to get him over there to, uh, to, the, to the glory of whatnot. Uh, do hit the like button if you could, and we will see you next video. Thank you very much.